Howdy, partners. Welcome to my Outlaws of Thunder Junction release day stream. It's good to be here. It's good to have you all here. I'm excited. I've been Jones to play this set all week. Just so impatient. <laughs> uh, so we just basically spent the week grinding up gold, grinding up gems, uh, doing limited events to earn gems so I could buy lots of packs to open for you guys and uh so we could do some limited so with that i am not going to waste a whole lot of time let's just go ahead and jump into opening up some of these sweet sweet thunder junction packs so, so for those of you who haven't maybe opened up play boosters on here yet or uh want to see what the odds are of those big score packs in or on arena let's get into it and check it out Howdy, Sarah. Welcome to the stream. All right. Any moment now, this is going to pop up. Why isn't that? There we go. Sorry about that. All right. So we've got some gold packs and some regular packs. So we'll go ahead and open up those gold packs later. What's going on, Dev? Welcome to the stream. All right. Woo, doggy. All right, three mythics. So let's check out these rares. We got Bronco, Interrupter, three steps ahead, Vladimir. Ooh, a Dust Bowl. Nice. All right, Unicorn Mount, Step Between Worlds, Tiny Bones, Fortune Loyal Steed, and. Tiny Bones the Pickpocket. Mind Slay. Ooh, that's a, I'm excited about this for older formats. And Contagion Engine. Two of my favorite old artifacts from the bonus sheet. Nice. Alright. We need to open up some Terror of the Peaks. Because that's one of the first cards I want to mess with. Alright. That's a bountiful set of packs. We got Commandeer, Roxanne, Insatiable Avarice. Marchesa, Ionize, Free Strider Lookout, Braska joins up. I won't read all these out every time. This feels like it's going to be annoying. <laughs> oh, Repticate, that's good for older format. Nice, Archangel of Ties, that's going to make some people's lives miserable. And Gitrog, the Ravenous Ride, all right. Next 10. Something satisfying about that animation. I don't know why I like it so much. All right. Ooh, a coal. I'm excited about that guy. Wild cards are always good. It could be anything. It could even be a boat. Yeah, it is a lot of packs. I've been, I've been, I, I really didn't uh, get very many packs of uh, Murders of Karlov Manor. I mostly drafted it, so I saved up a lot of gems so that because I. I need those big score packs and or big score cards to brew with and I know knew it was going to be hard to get them so we haven't opened any yet so hopefully we will open some Kindred Mirror of the Wilds Savala and a Mythic Wild card well Mythic Wild card could technically be a big score card right Alright, only one mythic in that bunch. Cruel Ultimatum, Key to the Vault. So glad this is on Arena now. Surgical Extraction. This Rattle Worm's really good. Double down whenever you cast an out. <laughs> I've got to be able to make this work eventually. There's got to be some ridiculous payoff for that card, right? All right, two mythics in that set. Magda, it's another card I want to build a deck around. Obeka, this card's been just flying off the shelves in paper. Claim Jumper, that's a very solid card. Fortune, Pillar of the Bog. Ooh, I like Braska. Braska's cool. And Force of Vigor. 
No Terror of the Peaks yet. I need lots of Terror of the Peaks. Ooh, four Mythics this time. Nice. Rock Sand. More cool ultimatums. Another card I'm excited to build around. Another round. Bell the Mighty. Stoic Banks. Another Vraska. Overwhelming Forces. Mythic Wild Card. And Oko Thief of Crowns. Yeah, I know. Oh, oopsie. I opened one. All right, this is the one that's going to have my terror. Nope, no terror of the peaks. Laughing Jasper Flint. Interesting. Also, welcome, Joseph. Good to see you. Mm, three mythics in that one. The devil. Ooh, Carvac. I feel like this card's going to get broken pretty quickly. Another Archangel of Times. Well, it looks like we're building angels. We already got two of those. <laughs> Another Mind Slaver. Yeah, I really like the special treatments in this set a lot. Three Mythics again. Flame Jumper. I love this guy. This, this, this guy's so great. Makes a makes blue bow the blue cow. Got the new breeches. Thibble thip! Look how adorable he is, all lost on the range. Another dust bowl, abrupt decay, and he joins up Ugisa. I was hoping to pull one of her. And Rakdos the Muscle and a mythic wild card. At least we're getting lots of wild cards from this. Ooh, four mythics, nice. Another Carvec. Ty Joaquin, perfect shot. Another Magda, nice. Mana Drain, sweet. Mythic Wild Card, Force of Vigor, and another Rakdos. All right. A little bit more to go. The devil. Ooh, high noon. This is going to ruin some people's days. I'm not 100% sure yet. It's going to depend on... Uh, I really want to build something with Terror of the Peaks. Oh, why do I... I'm so worried about opening Terror of the Peaks. I have Terror of the Peaks from, from the old sets. So I guess I don't need to open Terror of the Peaks. So I guess that's a good thing we haven't. <laughs> But I want to build something with Terror of the Peaks because it's one of my favorite dragons. Thank you. <laughs> I had so much fun putting this together. My wife was just like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And I was like, it's a cowboy set. I have to dress like a cowboy. Well, I've already got three or four of this one. <laughs> Fortune, Loyal Steed, Obeka. I also want to build like zombies or skeletons too. Uh, I, I want to add, there's so many cool things to add to my Jota humans list that I want to work on. I want to build a treasure combo deck around Magda where I just make a million treasures and play Magda and kill somebody with the treasures. Outcast Trailblazer. Even Interrupter. Final Showdown. Mind Break Trap. This card too. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I want to build an equipment deck. I want to build an equipment deck so bad. Like, Assimilation Aegis is so awesome. And then with the swords and stuff, like, just make, like, a ridiculous equipment deck. That sounds like a lot of fun. Got all kinds of janky ideas. All right, we're almost done. Another Obeka. Ooh, Ariat. 
Reanimate, Garvec, Braska, and Crackle's Power. Last big 10 here. Two Mythics. Rakdos joins up. I love these joins up cards too. Like these are a lot of fun. Like I want to build like a uh like a themed deck around like the 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 main outlaws of the set. I think that would be a lot of fun. Great train heist. That's a card I'm excited about too. Mythic wild card. Alright, so we'll open these two real quick. And now the golden pack, the reason we save those for last is because those are not... Oh, we finally got a big scorecard. It only took 140 packs. So for those of you who are wondering how rare these are, it's 142 packs before I got one big scorecard. So, man, <laughs> it's not even one of the good ones. Probably going to have to invest a lot of wild cards in those. We filled up our vault, though. And then we got 10, 14 of these to open. And these are all rares and mythics. So these are from multiple sets, so... Let's see what we got from this set. So we got Fibbletha, Flame Jumper, Marchesa, Wily, Kellen joins up, Fortune. Free starter lookout. Ooh, sting, sting back there. Taiwan Keen. We got our fourth Obeka. Ooh, this guy. This is another guy I'm really excited about. Got another Colossal Rattleworm. And we got a Jace Reawakened. Oh, here's a couple of big score cards. Now we're talking. Harvester of Misery, Collector's Cage, and Molten Duplication. This one's going to be really good, I think. Another big scorecard. Bristlebud Farmer. The uh, third Archangel of Tithes. Sweet. All right. So we've got four more of those. Big. Okay. So big scorecards are... They were originally going to be an epilogue set. So if you think about... Uh, what set was it? Uh, Brothers War Aftermath. I think, right? Forgive me if I'm wrong. I think it was Brothers War, but it's it's it was an aftermath of uh, Brothers War, I believe. And uh, <clears throat> sorry, they had like seven card or six card packs, and there was only like forty or fifty cards in the set, and everyone hated it. And uh, so this set was originally planned to have an epilogue set. That would just be like 30 or 40 cards with six or seven card packs with cards that kind of detail the epilogue of the story. So in this case, it was detailing why Jason Vraska came to this plane, you know, what their purpose was, what the treasure was for, all that stuff. And uh, but instead of making an epilogue pack, they decided to add it into the main set uh as a bonus sheet so instead in a paper pack instead of a list card you would get a big score card so they appear very rarely in these packs as well uh but obviously in these gold packs they're a little more common so if you buy 10 regular packs and you get a gold pack you get a little bit higher chance of getting these big score packs as we opened four um Four golden packs and we got three big score cards so a tarnation vista torpor orb which will be really good in historic and hostile investigator which i think is an interesting card uh so we'll have to see and the railway brawler i think this is yeah it was our first railway brawler i really like that guy a lot so that is all of our packs so let's see what we got in the collection here Sort by Outlaws and Big Score, Rares and Mythics. Let's see what we're working with here. So, only got one copy of Jay so far. We 
we got all four magnus so that's nice we got three carvex so i probably only need to make one or two or one more of him i definitely need to craft some geese's hmm not too bad we got a pretty good pull got three and four of most things we only got one oko the ringleader sweet all right well the first thing i wanted to do with you guys is get into some drafts or sealed with this set uh because this is definitely i went to the pre-release for this set and this format is the limited format is so much fun so let's see i have one sealed token and three draft tokens so let's go ahead and let's do a sealed first so sealed use a token see what we get leyline binding primal command so leyline binding probably not getting played final showdown ornery tumble wag at the beginning of your combat put a counter whenever it attacks while saddle double counters rakdos joins up arc mage is new these don't feel like very synergistic rares <laughs> three steps ahead and center sorcery gains flashback breaches whenever you cast your second spell sacrifice an artifact you win the flip copy the spell that sounds pretty cool primal command is really good so i feel like we want to play green let's see what we got in the rest of our set here let's check out our green because we did get a couple of good green cards don't really have very many green creatures or green cards at all to be honest we do have a green white land so maybe not playing green so let's check out red and blue because that was our next two good pulls so archmage's new can get us free cards from our graveyard we've got a couple of decent two and one mana blues we got a couple of one and two drops in red scorching shots really good friendstone rally could be pretty nice whenever you cast a second spell each turn you get a one one it's got plot highway robbery with plot when it enters the battlefield exile top card of your library and you may play that card see take for a ride oh this can have flash if you've that's interesting you can, like steal their creature at instant speed or instant speed if uh if you commit a crime and then block their own thing with their dude that's kind of cool we got hypothesize that's pretty sweet what's our black look like do we have any we, we do have a black red land so we could theoretically go Grixis. Heartless Pillage. Nothing too crazy in black. Other than Rakdos joins up. And Terminal Agni. So we'll probably just go red, green, uh, blue, blue, red. So let's try that. So let's get that in there jailbreak jailbreak scream three steps ahead's good archmage is good razzle dazzle's good put that in there just because we really need to make sure we have some good two drops whenever you commit a crime each opponent mills three cards once per turn two four for three not bad as long as it's not your turn spells you cast cost one less to cast interesting daring thief four mana four four enters the battlefield tapped let's plot enters the battlefield return up to one target tapped creature to its owner's hand that could be useful we like reckless lackey we like brimstone roundup that seems pretty good 
pretty good. Scorching Shot, really good. Gila Courser, whenever it attacks while saddled, exile the top card of your library until the end of the next turn, you will play that card. That seems pretty good too. And same with the Wolverine. Outlaw's Fury. Creatures you control get plus two plus oh. It's on a turn if you control an outlaw. Can't complain about that. Prickly Pear makes that card even better. And Take for a Ride is very good. Breaches and Hypothesis. Now, do, uh, let's see what colorless stuff we have. Uh, it doesn't look like very much. Silver Deputy. When Silver Deputy enters the battlefield, you may search for a basic or desert. Put it on top. And then it can give something plus one plus oh. Arid Archway enters the battlefield tap. No. That's not terrible. Mirage Mesa. A little color fixing. <laughs> All right. So we're at 37 of 40. So we need to add a few things. So we'll put the Jailbreak Scream and other Harrier Strikes isn't bad. We'll put the Gin in. And that looks pretty good to me. Got an okay curve. We don't have any five drops. Or no, we do. We don't have any four drops. Interesting. There aren't any. There's one four drop in the colors. <laughs> All right, well, let's get some hypothesis art on here. Give it a try. <laughs> Nisika a Chan. Nisikawa Chan is our first opponent. Opponent is going first. We've got a one drop, two drop, three drop. Feels good to me. Roar! The fact this has first strike is really good. Mobile Homestead. As long as you control a mount, whenever it attacks, look at the top card of your library with the land, you may put it on the battlefield tap. That seems pretty cool. Highway robbery. Well, let's plot this. I like the plot mechanic a lot. Planes for the opponent. One four lifelink. Whenever it attacks while saddled, it gets plus x plus x on a term where x is the number of mounts you control interesting all right well i guess we should probably get this down so we can block it interesting so we can use this to turn on take for the ride take for a ride with flash just probably get this down next turn Rodeo Pyromancers. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, add red, red. Interesting. Cruise up the homestead. Gets a free land. No blocks. Let's get this down. No attacks. Opponent's getting a little ahead of us, but we could definitely start coming back. Is this a, a new... Th this has to be new. The reach, the little bow to represent reach. I feel like they put this on here because of how often people forget cards have reach. I can't tell you how many times people have attacked with their their bats 
and forgotten something on my field I reach. <clears throat> you would think this little symbol in the corner would be enough, but I guess not. Next, they're going to put wings on the creatures, even though they float. <laughs> What you gonna do, opponent? They're gonna saddle it up. So it gets plus two. Oh, I didn't even notice they played this. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. We're getting beat up by saddles. All right, so. I'm trying to figure out a way we can get ahead here. I honestly think we just pass and see if there's a way we can take advantage of take for a ride during combat. All right, so they saddle up the griffin again. Let's let him go to combat. All right, so let's deal a damage. We have now committed a crime. Let's take for a ride this Griffin. And I think if I'm correct, I can draw two and discard. Wait, maybe not. Uh, well, let's block here. It kills one of their griffins. Do they have a way to bounce it? All right, so that'll at least slow them down a little bit. Okay, that did work, all right. And then, oh, nice, scorching shot. Uh, so let's discard the island. Let's scorching shot this. And let's highway robbery. Discard a card. We don't need breaches, I don't think. Draw a couple cards. Play the island. Pass the turn. Alright, so we've slowed down the opponent's. Uh onslaught a little bit we can kill this with hypothesis on next turn i think i'm just gonna take the five here it's a very close game so we can't really afford to be so we discard a non-land card, and when we do deal four damage to our creature, so let's discard Razzle Dazzler. Deal four damage to this. Play the Strix. We'll tap their planes. Play the island. Get in there with these two. Gotta start dealing some damage here. Especially because this enchantment, they can give things plus two plus one menace and haste. It's annoying. Ugh.
Plus one plus two gains a menace till end of turn. See if they get another free land. Uh, I'll go ahead and block with the Strix. Ping them in the face. Pow! Brimstone Roundup. Well, that is a pretty nice way to start making a bunch of little blockers. I'm going to leave the duelist back just in case we have to block something it's terrifying. They crew. We will block with a 1-1. One, one. Free land. Carrier Strix. We will... Let's draw a card. Jailbreak scheme. That's pretty useful. Play Harrier Strix. Half their red mana. Get in like this. And then thanks to the Geyser Drake, we can cast the second half of this and, and ping them. Scorching shot. Rude. My dogs are barking for a second there. Let's see what they put the bonus on. They put it on the homestead. All right, so before they go to combat. Oh, I guess I missed that trigger by accident. Oh, this is a sorcery. I'm so bad at life. All right, well, I guess we'll block the five three here. Take four. Mountain was not particularly helpful there. Uh, let's put a counter on the gear drake and put this on top or bottom. It's not looking too great for us though, unfortunately. And snake skin veil. Yep, that'll do it. We're not dead, but well, are we? No, very close. Don't think there's a way out of this, though, unfortunately. So, we'll block here, block here. And against trample, so we're dead. Yep. Man, I love these saddle cards. They're really good.
All right, next game. We found somebody. Yeehaw! We get to go first. All right, we got one, two, and possibly three. Get in there with our lackey. <clears throat> Getting damaged by lands. All right, so I guess let's play Archmage's Newt. Planes for the opponent. Well, I won't complain about them not doing anything. Heal a Corsair. Get in for three. Looks like they have some kind of response. What is it? I love the tumble. I love this board. I love the tumbleweed. Here's retribution. That's the crazy part about this limited format is it could just literally be anything. There's all these big scorecards and bonus sheet cards. All right, so. Let's play Dead Eye Duelist so that we have a way to take advantage. I'm going to get in with the Skeela Corsair because Fortune is a problem if, if it lives too long. So if they want to trade, I'm cool with that. Claim Jumper. So they get a free land. Card is so good. Hang back. So what is this? Three mana? It's five mana total to counter something and draw and discard. So let's do that. And we'll discard the Strix. Lava spur boots. What? Ouch. All right, prickly pear. Maybe they'll play something good that we can steal and throw in front of their claim dumper like that. Beautiful. Can't do it this turn, but next turn. That's trample. Unfortunate. Uh, let's just take the nine because we're going to kind of blow them out next turn. So. All right. Nobody expects the instant speed threaten effect. Oasis Gardener. Let's let them go to combat. So go like this. Steal their claim jumper. Slap this in the mercenary in front of it. And block their gardener. Ow. 
down to five already. Owie. And they make a mana dork. Sacrifice this guy, draw a card. We draw land. Highway robbery is pretty good here. Discard a card. I'll take it. Each time we commit a crime, they mill three cards. Every time we ping them in the face, they mill three. Nice. We're a mill deck now. Only eight time, eight activations. We play a trailblazer. And he joins up. Ow. Okay, we're dead. This has not been a good seal. <laughs> oh, man. The power level of our deck is not there, I guess. To be fair, we did not open very good rares. We have no choice but to just jump here and hope that we draw something good. That is not something good. If they have any legendary creatures, they double trigger. We're not dead. We're not in good shape, though. They're smart, and they're divvying up their damage as much as possible. Well, they should have just attacked with both. To be honest. I guess they drew nothing. And we draw. <laughs> oh, man. Never fails. Always draw a land when you need to top deck something good. I've come back from worse odds. We are waiting. Not anymore. Kerr winning. Well, we gotta fix that. We get to go first. We've had Reckless Lackey in our opening hand every time. That's been pretty sweet. Hasn't really helped that much, obviously. Mm, they have a red reckless lackey also well, we are gonna play razzle dazzle i love this guy razzle dazzler mountain number two for the opponent gonna razzle dazzle him Slick shot show off. Flying haste. Card's really good. Let's go ahead and get down Deep Muck Desperado. Attack with both since he can only block one. No sense in hold back. I like the new sounds. You get the like the whip crack sounds. They added more than just cards in this set, apparently. I haven't even clicked on the board yet to see what happens. Is there anything cool? It doesn't look like it. They made it like really like neat looking and like tumbleweeds and stuff. Oh, maybe something here. Maybe something pops up. Oh, look, gophers. Or groundhogs. Rattle back apothecary. Whenever you commit a crime, target creature you control gains menace to life link on a turn. That's a pain. Alright, well let's spot this. I 
I suppose we'll get in there with the crab. We're not trying to mill them out, and I really don't like them getting lifelink on things, so hopefully they'll trade. Three drop for three drop. Seems fair. They do not. I need a way to commit a crime at instant speed. Boop, 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 boop. Tiny bones with this little coin flip. Boing. Best pet. Oh look, little scorpion. But if you click on him, he runs away faster. All right. Well, hey, look at this. We get to play a spell, commit a crime, mill three, sir. And then we get to play highway robbery. We will sacrifice the land and draw another one anyway. Three steps ahead. That does help us commit a crime next turn, technically. So let's get in there with Razzle Dazzler. Get razzle dazzled. It's a good thing touching our stuff doesn't actually count as committing a crime. <laughs> no response from the opponent. Opponent's down to 13. Fast turn. They keep reading our Razzle Dazzler. The devil? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Give it lifelink. Or don't. Counter target spell. Get out of here. Mill three. I'm giving it menace. Why did they not give the slick shot lifelink? That would have been better. They get in there with those two. Uh, no box. Outlaw's Fury is pretty good. How much damage is that? That's two, so it's plus two plus two, so three, seven, eleven, fourteen. So not quite enough. I'm going to get in with the Desperado and the Razzle Dazzler and the Lackey. See if the opponent has any answers. They do not. Let them go down to nine.
And then we can sacrifice this reckless lackey to make a treasure at the end of the turn and draw a card. And then we, well, even if we don't draw land, we'll have enough to play, take for a ride in out Oz Fury to steal something and pump our team. That should be enough to close out the game. So we will pass, see what they do. They skip combat. Smart of them. And play Forsaken Miner. I think I can still kill them. So let's sacrifice the monkey. Draw a card, get a treasure. All right, so if I play take for a ride, snatch their slick shot show off. Let's see what happens if they have an answer. They mill three, not so relevant. That resolves. Now we outlaws fury. Razzle Dazzler becomes unblockable and we have two flyers. So do they have a removal spell? This is still quite a lot of damage though. It's almost lethal even if they kill something. It could be the monkey holding priority, so they may not have an answer. They fling the monkey at the Strix. I don't actually think that was the right target. Oh, they, they couldn't have done anything else. But yeah, they're still dead. GG! Got there. All right, next match. We're just going to win the next five. It's good. Agnostoman 2. We get to go first. Uh, Duelist, Jin, lots of lands. I don't know if I like this. This feels a little better. We will put back the Jin. Get down the Harrier tricks. We'll tap our Strix. Send a message. Ha! Now they can't tap our thing because it's already tapped. <laughs> right, we'll attack. See if they want to block. Owl fight. Caw caw! Then we get... Geyser Drake here. Fibble Fip lost on the range. Okay. Look at the top card anytime. Top card of your library has plot. Plot equal to its mana cost. You may play plot non land cards on top of your library. Very cool. All right, let's get in there for two. Pass the turn. It says Ward two. So how much does this cost? We can technically do this. So we can put this on top. They plot Servant of the Stinger. Aw, oh, man. That wasn't nice. They killed our Drake. My turn. All right, well, we got Breaches. Plotting, uh... Railway destruction point there.
What is the opponent going to do? Boom, 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 boom. You know, we have like three fantastic removal spells in this deck, and I haven't drawn them. Tap the creature, loses all abilities. That's fun. Man, we're just drawing all the lands. I'd like to draw some spells that do things, please. It's okay. If we lose this one, we'll do a draft and have a lot more control over what we what we get in draft. I figured it would be fun to get the sealed out of the way. Hey, what's going on, MTG Hillbilly? Thank you. Appreciate the sub. Appreciate you being here in general. Thank you. Servant of the Stinger smacking us for one. I love all the random scorpion cards in, in the set, too. Like, really leaning into the the theme there uh, I suppose we could technically do this to our own creature but I don't know if I want it back that badly we're just not not drawing the right cards right now Luckily, the opponent's not going crazy or anything, but I just hate sitting here doing nothing. We will find stuff, though. Take our one. You can smack us in the face for one, but you can't take our pride. They... Peerless Rope Master here and Raven of Felt Omens. So they're going to be able to like storm off here in a little bit. Just casting all these spells for free. What are we going to do? My turn. Razzle Dazzle. All right. Well, let's put something on the bottom. Put a counter on Razzle Dazzle. Just, just so we can do something, man. We're getting beat by Fibblefip, lost on the range. Raven of Fell Omen, so they start to drain us every time they commit a crime. As if committing the crimes themselves was not bad enough. Rooftop Assassin. Flying Lifelink. Servant of the Stinger. And Peerless Rope Master. Oh, come on. Return our breaches to its hand. Aw, oh, man. Gila Corsair. Is this till the end? This is till end of turn. This is till end of your next turn. Oh, well, let's steal their rope master. Razzle dazzle. That way we're at least triggering him, growing him, making him unblockable. Let's see if they have a removal spell. Come on, Peerless Rope Master. These guys look like they get along, right? This guy's playing with ropes. This guy's playing with magic. Maybe force them to make an unfavorable block. They can't block that guy. You're too mystified.
They do have removal. Unfortunate. I put two lands in the graveyard. Yeah, this is not looking fantastic. Well, they're just going to get in there with everything. They must have a good follow up. We'll put a stun counter on our breaches. All right. Yep. That's going to do it. What a disappointing sealed man. Just did not get any good rares. No synergy. I mean, I thought our blue red looked pretty good, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, at least we still got a couple packs. All right. Let's jump into a draft. See how that looks. Mirror draft. And then if we still have time after this, I will start brewing some standard decks. If we can't find something fun, Spire Bluff Canal. Luckily, I already have most of these from older sets, so I don't have to draft that. What else do we got? We got Clear Shot. It's not a bad card. Prairie Dog, 2 mana, 2-2 two, two lifelink, not bad. Let's see. I think we like Prairie Dog. I like Holy Cow, too. Maybe it'll come back. Prairie Dog's pretty good, though. Look at him, he's munching on a, munching on a cactus there. How cute. It drives me nuts. They added the coyote creature type for the coyote. I don't think I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there are any other coyotes in magic. So they added the coyote creature type in the set for the coyote right here. Here he is. And, but they can't add cow and they can't add like prairie dog. I mean, I guess prairie dogs and squirrels are close enough, but I mean, cows and oxes are pretty different, though. We're being real. Okay, so Getaway Glimmer. I like this card a lot. Murder, Coyote, Calamity, Galloping, Inferno, Haste. Whenever it attacks while saddle, choose a non legendary creature and create a tap tack and tokens copy of it. I don't know if I want to go into red yet, though. This is a pretty ambitious card. Getaway Glimmer is pretty good, so. We'll take that. <clears throat> All right, sorry, allergies. Bane of my existence. Sorry, right, so we got Wanted Griffin. Four mana for a three-two flyer. That when it dies, we get a one-one. I don't know how I feel about that. Tornado. Rodeo Pyromancer. Ugh, none of these cards feel very good, to be honest. I mean, Pyromancer doesn't feel bad, but. I mean, we could go black white. Choose a non land card if you do discard it. Otherwise, into their graveyard. That's interesting. Non outlaw creature. I think we'll take the Griffin. The Griffin's not that bad. Uh, Sterling Supplier. Five mana, three, four flyer, enters the battlefield, put a counter on something else we control. Throw from the saddle, plus one, plus one, and then put a counter on it instead of its amount. Deals damage equal to its power. I 
patient naturalist. Surveil three if you have no cards in hand, draw three cards. Fierce Retribution, destroy a target attacking creature. I like it. Fling. This town ain't big enough. <laughs> That's what I put on my, uh, my thumbnail for this. Uh, man. So maybe... Maybe red, red, white doesn't seem too bad. This card's pretty good. So it becomes a five, five with menace. That's pretty sweet. Outlaw's fury, not particularly useful. Wingsmith, the beginning of your end, so if you haven't cast a spell from your hand, put a flying counter on it. That's pretty cool. Why not? It's a three mana two four. It's a good blocker. Dwarves with wings. Who gave him Red Bull? Braided Bluffs. Would be good if we're gonna keep playing red white. Two mana to give something double strike till end of turn. Ooh, and I didn't, I didn't even see this card to be honest. Untap all creatures. That's pretty sweet. Surprise blocks. Vengeful town folk. Oh man. Okay, tough choices. Uh, I think let's. Oh, I took the town folk. That's okay. I like this card a lot. Something that grows whenever our other stuff dies. Especially because we have a couple of like little token dinners. The holy cow came back! Holy cow! I love this card. 2-2 two, two flash flying, gain two life, scry one. Not bad. Steer clear. Okay, we're, we're building the cow, the cow joke deck. Oh, wait, what is going on? My mouse is clicking on stuff I'm not clicking on. Well, we're definitely not stuck in red yet. Let's take fake your own death in case we decide to go black. That's a pretty decent card. Highway robbery is not a bad card. I'm gonna put that in the side. I'm gonna put the the red in the sideboard because we're not sure we're playing red yet. Ooh, Carvac. Journey to nowhere. Another holy cow. Ooh, Congregation Griff. That's pretty good. We don't have a whole lot of mounts in the deck yet, though. Nurturing Pixie, return up to one non fairy non land, put a counter on it. That's not too useful. Journey to Nowhere. I like. I also like Carvec. But we don't have a lot of black cards yet, so he's not super good. Uh it's between these three. I think we take Journey to Nowhere, because removal is just too important. And he joins up is technically something we could play. Form a posse. Just make a bunch of tokens. Feels pretty good. Okay, so maybe we are playing red. So let's put the charger back in. Highway robbery. Ooh, ride down's really good. Yeah, I like ride down a lot. Come on, next pack. Round them up. 
Vault Born Tyrant. Oh, I want it. We're not playing green though. This card's a beast. Three to trample. If you control another outlaw, create a treasure. I want to take it just because I want it. <laughs> Uh, there's not really anything that good in the I'm gonna take it because these big score cards are really rare and I actually do want to build a deck with this in it, so I'm gonna rare draft that one. Harriet's lullaby, rodeo pyromancers. Well, this does technically help us add more to our form of posse, so Ooh, Aven Interrupter. That is a good card. Such a determined looking owl. Come on, give me the next pack. Bell the Mighty. Destroy all creatures with power greater than target creature's power or Mystical Theater. Pay okay, five minute cast with Flash. No, oh, I don't like passing up removal, so we will take it. There are too many cards in this set that can just go bonkers. Oh boy, tough choice. Holy cow, I return the favor. Holy cow. Another holy cow. This does not have flash, so it's not particularly good. I don't know if we need more holy cows, but I'll take it. We'll take the anti joins. Uh, no, let's take the quill charger. That's actually playable. Porcupine mount. That feels, that seems like it'd be very uncomfortable. Uh, removal or I mean removal gotta take removal mm. take the five drop probably don't need another one of those but we'll snatch it anyway all right, Prosperity Tycoon, what's this do? When it enters the battlefield, create a token, sacrifice the token, he gains indestructible till end of turn. Meh. Two mana, two, two, that we can pay two to tap a non-mount creature? That sounds pretty good. Affinity for Outlaws. How many Outlaws do we have? Artificer. Citizen, Mount, Mercenary. Well, Mercenaries count, right? Well, we've got lots of ways to make Mercenary tokens. So why not? Affinity for Mercenaries. Uh, 
All right, another affinity for mercenaries. Or we can take a bridled bighorn. Ooh, no, I like stagecoach security, especially with form a posse in the deck. A way to get a, give everything plus one plus one. So we can plot it. Bounding Felidar. Put a counter on each other creature you control, and you gain one life for each of those creatures. Nice. All right, now we're getting some some payoffs here. Lassoed by the law. I don't think we need more of that. Uh, maybe lifelink and counters and indestructible. That seems good. Outlaw medic. Whenever it dies, draw a card. Has lifelink. I like that. <clears throat> Definitely need to cut a few cards. We can probably cut one of these sterling suppliers. Probably a quill charger. Nothing really good here, so we'll take the botanical sanctum. What is going on with my mouse right now? There we go, we fixed it. the battlefield create a 1-1 one, one mercenary and whenever you activate the ability that targets a creature or a player copy it and you may choose new targets interesting or we could take outlaws fury i think i like outlaws fury better rustler rampage we'll take that but i don't know if we're gonna play i don't think we're gonna play it I like Sterling Keykeeper. This is a sorcery, so we can get rid of that. Uh, mystical. Taking that to fill the uh, fill the vault. Explosive detriment. I don't think we're going to play that either, but we'll put, take it. Um, junk card. The last chaff of the pack. We need to cut two things. Don't think we're playing that. And a mountain. All right. What do we cut? Two cuts. Dos Cutos. I feel like wanted griffin can go because that makes the token after it dies so not super useful we don't really have a lot of mounts either so steer clear is probably not very good <laughs> that looks pretty good though i like it Got like a form of posse, bounding felder, sterling supplier, wind condition kind of deal going on. Lots of removal. We've got a lot of flyers. We've got a lot of ways to make tokens. We've got some lifelink. Feel pretty good about it. Let's try it. Let's give the dog, little longy. Somebody will get that joke. Get a dog, little longy. All right. This looks good. 
swamp for the opponent. Opponent's mucking around in the swamp with rat warlocks. There's form of posse. So when this dies, they get a mercenary. Outlaw medic. Bringing them potions. Oh, the opponent's playing some red. They get a treasure. Pretty good. Holy cow! Chain two, scry one. I'll keep that on top. Let's see if they, oh they're playing Grixis. They get in with their rat. I don't trust them. I think they have a way to give it death touch or something. Slick shot vault buster. You got it. Holy cow! Mountain, we'll keep the mountain on top so we can play the stagecoach security eventually. Let's get in there for two. And we want to cast this form of posse eventually. No blocks. Back down to 20. No! What do they have? Highway robbery. That's literally the art. The art of highway robbery is on the board. Look right here on the on the board. That's the art from highway robbery. That's awesome. They literally just took the art from that card and put it on the board. <laughs> Lively dirge. Search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. Interesting. Do they have racked those joins up? They put more chests in the yard. Let's form a posse. Get in there for four. Do, 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 do. I wish I could do the thing with my hat, but headphones. <laughs> what? They took my holy cow. They gave me this thing. All right. Well, we've got health for brute here. Affinity for outlaws. So it cost one mana. Nice. They gave me an outlaw, so that helps. So let's. Give this cow all the power. The power. And let's plot this. That's right. We're plotting and planning. No. How dare you tap my cow? I am offended. Very offended. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Gonna buff everything up, kill something that they block. We got it. Next game. Great start. Former Posse winning us a game. Niho 77. 
All right, Niho. They get to go first. Uh, we have removal, a three drop. Uh, it's a little sketchy. But we, we're on the draw, so we have a chance to draw some better things. We have removal for their, their two drop. Reckless Lackey, oh no. They're aggro. Let's play planes. Then I duelist. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of that. No crime committing for you. They don't have a play. Let's play Vengeful Town, folk. Put up a wall. Holy cow. Let's get our scry on. Eh, we don't need that. Get in there for three. Pow. I had to do it. Form a posse. Look at these guys. They look they're intimidating. When it finds their third mountain. They plot a stinger back there. Is currently like a 1 1 if they play it. So let's play a Hellspur Brute since it has affinity. And let's go ahead and just pump our cow to the heavens. Something about a bunch of mercenaries lending strength to our holy cow. They're, they're praying to the, to the cow. Oh dear, holy cow. Please give me the strength I need to be in the outlaw I deserve to be. And the holy cow giveth. He giveth the strength, but he also taketh. He taketh the strength and smashes your opponent in the face. And they scoop it up. Nice. This deck feels good. Who's next? Dram Liukas? Opponent goes first. We have three drops and nothing really going on before that. Uh, this is worse. All right. We'll keep six and we'll put back the Felidar. At least we have removal. Bristleback Sentry. Let's get rid of that because there are actually quite a few uh three drops that have four power so let's not give them a two mana four four let's play a wingsmith we will steal that too no you can't have anything we're rounding up all your creatures play this we need to draw some land please pony 
display is an ornery tumble wag. It's going to saddle up. Put a counter on it. There's the land. No attacks. These are both mounts, so we can't actually tap. Them. Oh, goodness. Whenever you cast this creature spell, get a mercenary, choose a color. Ew. Battle two. I can't tap it because it's a mount. Aha, little does he know this is going to be his undoing. We got it. All right. So. I guess we'll play this vengeful town, folk. Get it down. Make some green mana. What's going on? Trained Arnix. First strike. All right, no box. This is definitely getting a little out of hand here. Inventive Wingsmith. Decent blocker. We need mana. That's what we need. All right, actually, no no attacks. We're going to tap down Selvala this turn. And we'll use take up the shield. Gold pan. They get a treasure. They equip it to Selvala. Keep, yep, keep it going. That's annoying. Let's tap the Walla. Hey, what's up, Wado? They're saddling up their Erynx. But we're, we're going to block it. They get the scry one. Take up the shield. Gain some life. I don't know what we're going to do about this elemental, though. We might have to try to ride it down. They might fall for it. Holy cow. I need lands. This is very frustrating. Oops. I didn't mean to attack with my vengeful town folk. Darn it. All right. Well, I guess we'll holy cow. There's the land. Finally. Throw from the saddle. Well, I guess we're taking a bunch. Gross. At least we can tap this guy for a little while. It's hot out here, man. And it's wild and crazy. And look at these things. We got a plant boar attacking us. Got snakes and 
Ladies riding elks. It's a nightmare. Look up. Angel cows. Like what? This draft's going pretty well so far. This game is feeling a little rough, but oh gross. Oh man. Wow. We're just getting hosed. Oh, I didn't tap this before combat. That was a mistake. Oh, we got a block. We can't just take eight. So, oops. Equip the gold pan to something else. Stagecoach security does not help. Yeah, I think we're dead. Thanks to the Felidar. Next game. Two and one. We got this. I'm gonna go all the way. Look at all them cactuses. Never thought I would be this excited about a cowboy set. Black cloths. We get to go first. Uh, we need to land, but other than that, doesn't look too bad. A horsey mount. I was so torn between the horse and, and tiny bones. Tiny bones is so adorable though, but I like the horse. Oh, and you get defeated an apple. Oh, he's so cute. Sterling Keykeeper. Caustic Bronco. Uh, we need lands and we're not drawing them. Let's get in there. They take it. Come on, one land so we can play our cow. The sentence I never thought I'd be saying. They get a free forest off the top. New dark confidant here. My turn. We found the land. It's holy cow time. We'll keep that land too. Better pray to your bovine God. What are you going to do with that snake horse? Throw from this. How dare you? Takes one. I am very offended. Well, let's play Hell's Pervert. Get in there. I think we can win this race. What does this do? Four damage heart cry. Uh, so they can kill our brute. That's unfortunate. They don't have any red mana yet, though. No red mana yet. I'm just going to feed their horse apples. Is that all he does? Search your library for a basic. Now that does come in untapped. And so, yeah, they can kill our brute here. Unfortunate. That's okay. They're killing themselves a little bit, so. Is this a May? No, it's not. 
So they got to be careful because this is not a May. They have to do it. They could kill themselves. Yeah, it was it was a tough decision. So they take two. You know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna let them kill themselves with this horse. Roxanne. No, thank you. Servant of the Stinger. get in see if they block they do so we'll ride down kill this get the damage through anyway and let's see if they kill themselves with their Bronco Roxanne so they're gonna try to kill something here and we're gonna blink it In response, we blink it. Go ahead, attack with your Bronco, I dare you. They don't have removal. We should be able to win, though, with the plus one, plus one and vigilance from this. they pay for all the modes on this i guess so they get to put one card into the graveyard that has reach that is annoying what a pain i need to draw a land Rodeo Pyromancers. Man, that turned around quickly. We're going to die. Roxanne, man. She's a beast. Rask of the Silencer. Oh, man. Disappointing. Almost got there. Roxanne's really good in limited. All right, we're just gonna win five in a row. Don't worry, we got this. This deck's really good. We just got outvalued there. Satan zero. We get to go first. We got removal, not a whole lot going on though. <sighs> yeah, I'm not liking this hand. Uh, this is better. We'll put back the Outlaws Fury since we don't have any red. Concealed Courtyard for the opponent. We will play a Sterling Key Keeper. Nothing for the opponent. Well, we will play an inventive wingsmith and plan on not a, not playing anything next turn to give him that flying counter. Opponent kills our thing. That wasn't very nice. It has flying. The invention worked. Opponent is stuck on lands. That's unfortunate. We will play town folk. No mercy in this dojo. 
They find a third land. We'll play this. Put a counter on the Wingsmith. Get in there for six. They don't have anything for four mana? Crazy. All right. Well, we got there. Tough game for the opponent. All right. Next game. Journey fan. Journey like the band? I like Journey. Uh, we go first, and this is not a good go first hand. This is much better. Uh, what do we put back? Stagecoach security? Yeah. Planes. Yeah, quick game is a good game, right? I'd like to get to some standard brewing at the end of this, so I'm hoping that we can get through this draft relatively quickly, but I do want to win, so. We'll play Outlaw Medic. Swamp for the opponent. Silver Deputy. I like the art on this card. Looks pretty cool. It's like, it's like, it's like a gun sword hybrid combo. All right, let's get in there. They don't even block. No respect. We'll play Wingsmith. There's like, I don't need to block your creature. I got the Silver Deputy on my side. Slick Shot Show Off. It has haste. Opponent passes. Holy cow. But well, we gotta play holy cow. I'll keep the tether. Get in there. Now we blocked it. No point not gaining that free life. Tumbleweeds rolling across the map. Rattleback Apothecary. So now whenever he commits crimes, he gets to give things lifelink or menace uh i'm gonna block that because that's gonna become a big problem really quickly if i don't uh let's tether this because that's a problem get in there for three What the opponent has. Vault Plunderer. Draw and lose a life. And they, and they get in there for one. All right, no, we're not going to cast anything. Get that flying counter. If they play anything too scary, we can just kill it with getaway glamour. Rictus Robber. When it enters the battlefield, if a creature dies this turn. Indestructible, good sir. None of that nonsense. We'll take the four. My turn. Get in there for four. Put the opponent down to six. Feeling pretty good about this right now.
want to get in there for four no fear And it's all about smashing the attack button prickly pear so they get a one one mm, anything else no okay well another planes wasn't particularly useful but we'll get in there for three if they don't remove this inventive wingsmith it's gonna be their doom Do they have a removal spell? That is the big question. Or do they have to accept the fate of being defeated by a mechanical dwarf? They're thinking. So if they have the plus two plus O outlaw card, right? So I think we block here. If they have the plus two plus O, then we kill the Rictus robber. Fake your own death. Okay. That doesn't do it. We're still alive. We get to draw a card. And now they're dead even if they have removal because we can blink this guy and then give it plus one plus one with this. Yep. GG's. We did it. Resisting the urge to just go yeehaw every time I win. I'm trying not to be too annoying. <laughs> All right, we're at four wins, so we've pretty much broken even at this point. Let's keep it up. Three more wins. Keon three. We get to go first. Terrible go first hand. This is better. Not a lot better, but it is better. We'll keep six and we'll put the fury back. Play of planes. Anything with holy cow and it's a good hand though. Opponent surveil one. We'll play a mountain and pass. Forest for the opponent and raucous entertainer. We will play vengeful town folk. Desperate Bloodseeker, and they get to put a counter on it. It's pretty good. Play Holy Cow. Uh, I don't think we need more lands on top. No attacks. Gotta block this Bloodseeker if they attack with it. It's a very worthy trade because that lifelink will get out of hand real fast. They plot. Our Aven Interrupter is going to be good good for making this stuff cost more. Actually, it ruins the, the claws of this. Yep, we'll block. Alright, so we got Stagecoach. We'll get in there with our cow. Fast turn. Al says no. 
And he can still cast it again next turn, but now he doesn't even get the he doesn't even get the bonus. Yep, that's fine. Plays a swamp. Puts a counter on the plunder. Man, we are drawing too many lands. Well, let's go ahead and give these guys plus one plus one of vigilance still on the turn. Get in there for six. Pow pow. <laughs> no! At least they let. Well, I guess now he gets the bonus from that. Unfortunate. It's Rockus Entertainer doing work, and we're destroying lands! Oh no! Not like this! Not like this. Come on, let us let us get let us draw form a posse right now to take advantage of all these lands. We're at a healthy life total. Form a posse right now. Uh Ow. Well, Journey to Nowhere gets rid of a 6-6. Six -six. And I guess our cow blocks the 4-2. So we're not dead, but not looking great. Come on. Form a posse. Oh, man. Honest resting so good. Well, if we lose, at least we get to do some standard brewing. Vault Thunder. Well, ladies and gents, that looks like game to me, unfortunately. We fought our best. We still went, we still broke, uh, broke even, went positive, 4-3. Can't complain about that. All right, let's claim them prizes. Open up them packs. What did we get? Rush of Dread. Let's start brewing. Standard. Let's filter out outlaws and big score. Let's start with the rares and mythics so we can see what cards we want to build around. I like this guy a lot. Duelist of the Mind, yeah. That's going to be an interesting, interesting to see if uh, someone can make that work with... Uh, some of the cards from last set. Collector's Cage. White Claim Jumper a lot. I wonder how many Oxen there are in Magic. I know there are not very many in Standard, but <laughs> I want to play this guy so bad. Oxen you control have Double Strike. It's amazing. Archangel of Tithe, this is going to be really good. I like Fortune a lot. Fibblethip. Got Tiny Bones.
Harvester of Mystery Misery looks pretty sweet. Basically a cheaper uh massacre worm, but they don't lose the uh but you could curve this right into uh you could curve this right after what is the the four mana six six whenever a creature dies each opponent loses two life it's a good curve yeah stoic sphinx is interesting i like colossal rattle worm a lot four mana six five trample seems pretty good Especially if you can give it flash. Smuggler surprise. It's six mana, two creatures from your hand onto the battlefield. Two mana to give creatures with four greater hex hexproof and indestructible till end of turn. This is a sweet card. I like it. I also like Railway Brawler a lot. Oh man, I don't know what to build. There's so many things I want to try. I like Roxanne a lot too. All right, well, let's go ahead and take these filters off. The first, the, the first thing that's coming to mind for me has been Terror of the Peaks. I love Terror of the Peaks so much. And I want to play it in a Storm Storm the Festival shell. So we'll start off, we'll just put the four in there. Might go down to three, but. And then. Alright, see you, Watto. It's good to see you. Put in these railway brawlers, reach trample and doubling up on um, power and toughness seems pretty sweet. All right, and then we need ramp. So let's go with topiary stomper and glimpse these aren't the numbers we're sticking with what's up day day these aren't the numbers we're sticking with we're just putting the four in there so we can adjust as we like uh so that's four ramp spells let's go ahead and just tag red green here So what other cards are we looking at here? So let's look at four and five mana stuff right now because we want to figure out what our pay, what we want for payoffs for Storm the Festival. <laughs> what our best payoffs are. Golden Hydra, it wouldn't be very good in this deck because it just we can't get it off storm the festival but i do want to build a deck with golden hydra as well but this deck we're trying to get lots of value yeah gold vein hydra yeah we're trying to get lots of value off of our storm the festivals so we want we do have topiary stompers so we could theoretically play a three mana six six, but I don't know if I like that too much. Bone Horde Brachosaur, pretty good. Let's take a couple of those. Let's take out one Brawler and play a couple Bone Horde Drakosaurs. Surprise Judgment. Yeah, I like that card a lot. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so we can play Axe Bane Ferox. 
I don't hate making it Jund, but I think I'm going to stick the red green for right this minute because we want we want to make sure we have lots of basic forest for glimpse the core and uh, we need basics for topiary stomper as well i like colossal rattle worm four mana six five trample feels pretty good we can put a couple of the red green deserts in here what's bristlebud farmer do when it enters the battlefield create two food tokens one of the tax sacrifice food mill three that seems pretty sweet. What else do we got here? Hulking Raptor is pretty good because that'll help us ramp into our Storm the Festivals. Mm, what else do we got? Uvenwald Oddity. The Filer of Vigor. So let's take out another railway brawler. Let's put in Silverback Elder. Having one of those in the deck feels pretty good. I'm trying not to run uh, any creature, any small creatures. I like Bramble Familiar, but I don't, because uh, I, I, I'm going to try to fit some Brotherhood's ends into the deck. And we don't want that uh, actually hulking right Oh, by the time we cast Hulking Rafter, we've probably already cast our Brotherhood's end, so that's okay. What do we got in red green here? Anne's Rag the Quake. Well, I mean, that's eight damage off of a Terror of the Peaks. I'll put one in there. Why not? Some Yarogs in there for haste. All right, so we've got six slots left. I don't know if we're gonna leave everything like this. We definitely need some removal of some kind. So let's go ahead and look up Brotherhood's End real quick. Oh, we gotta take off these restrictions here. Let's get three of those in there. What else could we run? Let's get some instants and sorceries here. Great train heist. Caught the crossfire. Could play a braid. I like Scorching Shot too, but the double red is kind of rough. Tough choices, tough choices. Could run fight spells. We are running a lot of creatures, so we could run like hard hitting, hard hitting question. I do like Smuggler Surprise a lot.
Ooh, dance of tumbleweeds. Maybe we take out a couple of hulking rafters. Cause this is pretty sweet because we can get big elementals for with terror of the peaks and it does technically search for lands or deserts so we can go fetch our deserts so maybe we even take out a glimpse the core and put a couple of these in here take out a topiary stomper seems interesting Tough choices, tough choices. Could use some other kind of removal, but I'm just not quite sure exactly what I want to put here. Maybe we do, maybe we just don't. Maybe we just let the Brotherhood's ends be enough. We're putting so much value into it, into the deck, you know, like, cause I feel like people forget how good Storm the Festival is. Like Storm the Festival, like, especially like just over time, like it's so much value. I think hard hitting question is okay. We'll put three hard hitting questions in. And then we need to add an extra land. So let's go ahead and take a look at our lands here. Want to soak in. Oh, we need to get rid of the instant sorcery here. We want a Boseju. Want some copper line gorges, some carpulsion forces. At least couple bristling backwoods one restless ridge line some rock ball veils and then we probably want at least i don't think we want any murexes or anything in this deck tempting feels bad not to play like field of ruin or murex but we're playing triple green double green double red Put a single field to ruin in the deck and then add a forest call it terror storm all right let's play with it so for those of you unfamiliar this is how i do it i i i basically just come up with an idea it's definitely not perfect at this point um definitely not optimized yet so what i'll do usually is i'll play 15 or so games with the list as it is i'll see where it feels good where it feels bad what cards feel like they're performing well which ones feel like they're not so useful and i will tweak and finagle the deck until i get it where i like it and typically it winds up being competitive enough to be fun so we get to go first, we'll keep. We're any land away from ramping, so. Thank you, I appreciate it. Good to see you, Felix. Are we already gonna get punished for being greedy? 
game one. We're not going to draw the third land. Lost with Dread Knight for the opponent. We found the land. Let's go ahead and get Stomper down. Go get a forest. Death Pat played for the opponent. Galista the Sunslayer. Man, this Brotherhood then is going to feel good whenever I get to cast it. Let's go get a desert so that we have it for later. We're going to have to get punched in the face a little bit, but maybe they'll play something else that dies to blood. Brotherhood then. They make us discard. We'll discard Anzrag. That's not the card we are going to be playing next turn if we play anything other than Brotherhood's End. Pretty sure it's just going to be Brotherhood's End. We'll probably Field of Ruin something and then Brotherhood's End. Insatiable Avarice, so they're going to search and put something on top. Probably a Shieldred. it's probably gonna draw yep down to 11 all right so we found another land that's good so now the question is we could storm the festival here but that's not gonna solve our problem so i think what we do here is we field death cap blade so we can thin the deck out some go get another green Brotherhood then. So probably Shieldred is what they searched up, I imagine. Or maybe not. They draw a card and lose a light. What did they search up? Removal? Or maybe maybe this is the combo deck. All right, well, let's storm. Terror of the Peaks. Get in there for four. At least if they kill the Terror of the Peaks, they got to pay three life for it. That's why I love this card so much, because at, it, at the very least, it costs them three life. Get Rog, the Ravenous Ride. That's all they're doing this turn, though. They are toast. Yeah, I don't care about that at all. No, we'll we'll take it. Hard hitting question was a fantastic draw. So we'll play Bone Horde Dracosaur. Ping them for five. Hard hitting question. Tear of the Peaks, the Moss with Dread Knight. And smash. GG. <laughs> well, that felt pretty good. If we can pull that off again. I love Terror of the Peaks, man. I am a sucker for powerful mid rangey creatures. You don't get much better than Terror of the Peaks. When it goes first, we got Glimpse the Cores. We'll keep. Turn three, Rattleworm doesn't feel too bad. 
opponent plots demonic ruckus interesting blood feather phoenix they don't buff it all right let's glimpse the core go get a base course Guess they wanted to double spell this turn. They smack us for three and do nothing else. I'll take it. Uh, let's play a land. Play a Colossal Rattleworm. And the next turn we can hard hitting question and ramp some more. Man, a 6-5 trample for four feels good. The fact that you can give it flash is crazy. I like this card. All right, opponent smacks us for three more. Do they have a removal spell? They're playing white. They do not. Well, let's glimpse the core. Go get another forest. Hard hitting question. Now they have removal. No oh, hex proof. That's fine. Take six. We're winning this race, so we just need another land, and then we can storm the festival. Right, opponent smacks us for three. That's all they got. We'll play Yaris. That's going to make our storm even better once we get to it. And we're on the front side of the race now. I'm trying to figure out what the opponent's doing. They're just like hanging out over there. When the festivities. Why? Oh, okay. That's a thing they can do. Man, we can't 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 catch a break. We need a land. We're still winning the race though. Come on, man. Land one time. Well, I mean, if they've got a bunch of lightning helixes in their hand, I guess we could be dead. So we'll see. Another demonic ruckus. Okay. Do they have the lightning helix to go with it? I feel like they tap deliberately because they do. And a play with fire? No? Aha! We did it! At one life. Who needs lands? Free cards, free XP, hooray. You can see, though, if I had just drawn it, like, if I'd drawn a land two turns earlier, like, they were toast. So, Storm the Festival, very good. Angry Panda. Let's see if we can make them more angry. This is a terrible hand. Gross. Uh, this is not better. Also not better. But I guess we'll keep it. Can't keep Mulligan forever. So we'll put back hard hitting question and storm the festival and hope that we just draw really good cards. Oh, well, the opponent, <laughs> the opponent Mulligan to five too. So I guess it's a fair game. Opponents playing Rakdos, burn down the houses. Blood Tithe Harvester. 
Well, their mulligan looked a lot, looks better than our mulligan, so. All right, I need a brotherhood then, please. For now, we will settle for tumbleweed, tumbleweeding it up. Let's go get a desert. I mean, we're a land away from just going Terror of the Peak, Storm the Festival, and winning, so. It's not impossible that they just don't have anything of use. Well, there's the Brotherhood then. Clutch draw. Play the land. If we don't draw land, we can play Hulking Raptor will help us get to the storm of the festival lethal demolition why i have one vault born tyrant that i got out of a uh out of the draft that i did earlier storm of the festival rattleworm and ansrag why not <laughs> Six mana for all this stuff. No biggie. Opponent discards a gleeful demolition. Apparently they don't want to make any more goblins. And they scoop. <laughs> Get out of here. Storm the festival, man. Ten mana worth of stuff for six mana. It always feels good. Especially because there's just so many good five drops and four drops that are way higher power level than their mana cost. Like Tapu Hatter. We'll keep. Kamano. All right. Spire Bluff Canal making blue red spell slingers dreams come true. Monastery Swift Spear. Ooh, they're playing Teamer. All right, well, we've got Rattleworm. That's a pretty good blocker. See if they have the Pumpity Pump spells. Or Witch Stalker's Frenzy. Fugitive Codebreaker. They have a monstrous raid. Nope, they don't attack, so. Alright, let's get Terror down. No attacks. They definitely would have attacked if they had a one mana pump spell. So. I feel confident that holding back will keep them. Well, they drew one. Oh, no, they had. They had it. They were just saving it. Okay. Do I think they have another one is the question. Do they have another one? They have a monstrous race. Oh, man. They, yeah, they had it all. We're at one. Well, yeah. 
ping the opponent, make a gigantic elemental, ping them for seven. Well, uh, as much as I want to ping them for seven, I think killing their creature is better. Man, not doming them for seven feels bad. We have to we have to hope they don't have any burn spells. Balmore does not have haste, thankfully. The seven seven is a wall. Alright, Yaris. Domes the Balmore. They might have a giant growth to save it. Very good to get that out of here now, though. So no attacks. Because they probably would have killed us this turn with it otherwise. Do they have? Do they have something? Well, it has haste, so we're dead no matter what. Darn. And they had the elusive otter anyway. Well, spell slingers is good. All right, we'll play one more before we go. And then I'm going to spend the next couple of days brewing, trying new stuff. And I will have another, I'll have my first normal video of the set up on Friday. And we'll go back to streaming probably every other week. Opponent's going first. This is slow. This is better. We'll put back one topiary stomper. Get the rock fall veil down. Opponent's playing forests. Basic new capenna forests. All right, let's glimpse the core. We can play stomper and kill this next turn. Or maybe we kill, no, we're gonna kill the bloomkin. The bloomkin gets bigger quicker. So Stomper. Kill the Bloomkin. And then we got Storm the Festival next turn already. What, turn four Storm Festival? So, yeah, turn four Storm the Festival. Feels good. Opponent gets a forest. What are they going to do with all that green mana? They get in for three. Mapping it up. More lands for the opponent. Come say hi, Mr. Wrinkles. Ooh, nice. Terror and Railway Brawler. Let's dome this Bloomkin. Terror of the Peaks is a 10-9. Casually. What do you got, opponent? With that mono green deck over there. Colossal Rattle Worm. That's pretty good. Let's play Boseju. Let's channel Soaking Zan.
Ping the face. Ping the face. Let's close the core. Go get another forest. That's 10. I think no matter how they block, they die here, right? So they block the, no, they, it's 14. Let's just get it with the terror. I don't want to get blown out. Skulls for Nexus. We don't care about that. They can double something's power, but I mean, that's like most of their turn. They have a fight spell. Maybe they can double something's power. Oh, there's the fight spell. So they can double the Rattleworm's power and fight the Terror of the Peaks. Which is unfortunate. Oh, they... Why? That makes no sense. I can't see a way they can kill me with two mana here. They can double the rattle worm's power, but that puts us to 12 or it puts us to two. There we go. All right. Well, I mean, that's pretty, pretty impressive showing. It's like four, four wins and one loss. Not terrible. That deck looks fun, so I'll definitely have to keep iterating on that. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure playing with you guys. Uh, so excited about this set. I have so many ideas for fun stuff I'm going to be brewing for you guys. As always, I will do my very best to make sure that the decks are as competitive and awesome as possible so that when you build them, they actually work. Uh, uh, I usually try to make sure I put my stats up and try to make sure I put the deck through its paces, play at least 40 to 50 games with it before I show it to you, because I do my very best to make sure that I'm providing you guys with something quality. So I am so excited to build with this set. I hope you guys have been having fun watching. I hope you guys had fun being here with me. I can't wait to show you guys more stuff. And if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to brew and what, what, you're, what you're excited about. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll snag one of your ideas. And uh, if I do snag any of your ideas, I'll definitely credit you in the video. So uh, with that, it's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you in the next one.